Welcome back to Tammy Talk. So we are here today to talk season 13, episode 13 of Married at First Sight, Houston. Uh, cheers, jeers, and 25 cent martinis. Let's go ahead and get into Rachel and Jose. You guys know the drill. If you are back here from last week and the week before and the week before, and you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit subscribe. We are climbing towards the, towards 1,000, y'all, if I can talk. We are climbing towards 1,000. Um, thumbs up the video. Leave some comments down below. Let's get into it. Not a lot happened with them. Um, I actually feel like they were, like, the most boring couple from this episode. But let's get into it. So, Jose met with Dr. Pepper. And Jose went in there singing his praises to... Singing his praises to Dr. Pepper about Rachel. Saying that, you know, their marriage is going really, really good. They're in a good place. You know, you guys couldn't have picked a better woman for him. Rachel's caring and smart and all that type of stuff. Um, he said that she's a little too independent. But he did ask for someone... That was independent. So that's something that he's, you know, starting to kind of work through. He said they communicate really well. I said, really? Okay. Okay, Jose. Jose said they communicate very well and that they make a great team. Um, he said he needs to learn how to better assert himself because she said that he is controlling. Dr. Pepper said you are controlling. <laughs> And Jose was real tight lip and was kind of like, <laughs> like Jose wasn't ready to hear that. And it's funny because every time somebody does tell Jose he's controlling, he like, he always makes the same face of like denial or shock. Like he has never really heard that before. But it's also a face that's kind of like, damn, another person is telling me I'm controlling. So he said that he is most worried about Rachel leaving. He said because he does not trust her because she has tried to leave twice or she has hinted or alluded to, to leaving twice. The first time um, was after he locked her out and she said that she wanted uh, she wanted to leave a marriage wanted to leave the marriage because he was not apologetic. And then the second time was when they were on their one month anniversary um, dinner and she was saying that she gets bored in the summer. And that if he criticizes her, she's going to be out the door. And Dr. Pepper told him, you know, she has seen your temper. She has seen your anger. She has seen what you do in your temper and in your anger. She has seen how you are not able to effectively control those. So, of course, she's going to have some hesitancy. Of course, um, she's going to have a, a twinge of this nigga might be crazy. Dr. Pepper didn't say that, but she might have this twinge of this man might be crazy. This might not be the best situation for me. This might not be the best relationship for me. And that's just kind of something that Johnny got himself into. And it is truly amazing how throughout this entire process, since that has happened, how Johnny just does not see the air in his ways. Johnny does not really and truly understand the the effects, the ripple effects, the repercussions that him blowing up the way that he did and locking the door and locking her out and cussing her out and then refusing to apologize the next day and then being flipping about it and then again the next next day feeling like he was only apologizing because it was the right thing to do, not because he truly meant it. Johnny doesn't see, I mean, um, Jose doesn't see that. And that's that's alarming, and that's something that Rachel has to look out for. And I keep saying, and Twitter keeps saying, and every YouTuber that is reviewing this show has kept, kept saying, this man tried to lock you out. This man did lock you out of a, an apartment he does not pay for. This man told you to get the fuck out. And that he was going to throw his wedding ring at you in an apartment that he does not pay for. An apartment that is not his. So don't for one second think that when you move into, if you move into that man's house, don't for one second think that he won't kick your ass out of his house too the first chance he gets. One wrong thing, one slip up, and Johnny, I keep saying Johnny. 
one wrong thing and Jose is going to kick you out of his house and remind you that it's his house and remind you that his name is on the mortgage and remind you that he is the one that has paying all the bills have been here and remind you that you moved into his damn house. Don't for one second think that that's not going to happen, Rachel, because that's coming. It's coming if you decide to stay with this man and you don't get this shit in check right now. That's what's going to happen. So then we have Rachel meeting with Pastor Cal. And she's saying how she's in a good place in the marriage. And, you know, she she loves her husband. And she feels like he's the best person for her. And all this, you know, all this good stuff. And... Is this the same show? I'm sorry, y'all. Couples cam is, like, on in the background. So, um, but she said that her biggest thing is she is not sure if she's doing enough for Jose. Um, she still thinks about being locked out. That's something that she has not gotten past yet. Um, and for good reason. She hasn't gotten past that. She still is... Like, she doesn't believe him when he says that he accidentally turned the damn boat. That's something that she is still in that process. And she does not really, I don't think she really believes his apology. I think Rachel just wants to be married. So even though Johnny, even though Jose said he was sorry, Johnny's talking about me right now because I just read his ass in the video. Even though Jose, um, has apologized, she doesn't know if she believes it. She's also worried about his temper. She's worried about his vindictiveness. If that man can lock you out of an apartment, how? who's to say that if you guys aren't driving, he won't put you out the car? Who's to say that if y'all are in another city, he won't leave you and get in the car and drive back home? Who's to say if y'all are out at dinner and you guys get into it or you get into it at a party or you get into it out shopping that he won't get in the car and go home and leave you? Those are things you have to worry about if you choose to stay with this man. So vindictiveness is just not a very attractive quality in somebody, especially when it's directed towards you, especially when it's your spouse directing it towards you coupled with the fact like i keep saying jose was not sorry for that jose does not think he did anything wrong you had to beg for an apology for your husband locking you out of an apartment not bothering to call you to see if you were okay not bothering to call and see if you were coming home he locked that door and took his little sassy ass to sleep all right so then they meet after their, um, they meet at the end and Jose asks Rachel, how does he know that she won't leave him again? Um, and she kind of just says that, you know, she, she hasn't left him yet. So she doesn't know what he's talking about, but she kind of flips it. And she said that she just kind of realized in that moment that single Rachel is gone. She is now a part of a couple she is a part of a couple. She's married and she can't just think about herself anymore. And she said that moment changed her. So then she kind of brought up to Jose about him kind of locking the door and stuff. And he kind of played it off. He kind of played it off. He didn't seem to, um, again, he's not really apologetic for it. He just kind of told her that, you know, he's a person that when he's upset, he needs time to calm down. He needs time to, you know, go to the side so that he can get himself together, get his thoughts together, cool down, and then he can come back to the argument. But he has not reassured her that he won't deadbolt her ass out the house again. He has not reassured her that that was just something that was just a one-off thing that he did out of out of anger or out of anything. He is still standing on the fact that he inadvertently did it because it's force of habit. He is not really taking responsibility for that. And that's something that Rachel really, really, really needs to be careful with. You, She has to, has to, has to be careful with that because you don't know what else this man is going to do. He's controlling, and he locked you out. 
red flags bouncing like he is throwing the red flags at her forehead and she's just dodging them just ducking them dodging them because she wants to be married that bad if you have not already subscribed to the channel thumbs up the video let's talk about rachel and jose is this going to be a trend or do you guys really think that jose is like apologetic at this point let me know